Well, I just, uh, I'll take up this last uh, moment. Uh, a lot of people, including the media, live in totally unreal uh, version of what's going on. One of the stunning things that I have seen is a study that shows that 80% of Americans do not own a gun. 80% of Americans don't own guns. 20% do, and of those 20%, 3% own 50% of the guns. And the other 17% own the other 50% of the guns. To hear the debates that are going on, you'd think that everybody is like Charlton Heston saying, you will have to take it out of my cold, dead hand, and this is my second amendment, right? It is not. I'm sorry, I mean, much more than 20% own guns in America. I'm sorry? Many more than 20% own guns in America. Uh, Many no. It's been uh, validated by uh, several science uh, groups who have seen that. And that brings us to the fact that many of the scientific studies are overwhelmed by uh, very powerful images. And uh, one of the images, for example, is that the momentum that is going on uh, about uh, uh, in America right now was because of all the prior investments and so on, and that's not true again. Because, in fact, Mr. Trump has been undoing regulations that were put in place and, and opening up the, the, the wildlands for uh, oil exploration, which had been banned by regulation. I think Jim Bolger is absolutely right. You need government regulation. One place that the, most people don't know, but look carefully and you'll see it's stunning curve, is the fact that American GDP has been going up like that and then water consumption goes up, and then it's, it goes flat. What happened at that point was the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act regulated activities on water, and all of a sudden people discovered that actually they could continue to, to, to grow uh, and make money without polluting and using up so much water. So we have that. But there's a very powerful image that came from a very distinguished scientist, uh, Cédric Villani, who's a... Uh, Fields medalist, and he was elected with Macron, with the, uh, this new wave that came with Macron. And we asked him, uh, since you're very knowledgeable on science, how come we have all this nonsense going on in the parliament, the French parliament, and uh, including GMOs and including other things? And he gave a very beautiful image. He says, it's like the wave and the sword. We as scientists have excellent arguments, I can puncture almost any counter-argument that comes, but it doesn't come in counter-arguments. It comes like a huge wave that covers you and takes you over and moves people emotionally along with something. And therefore, the nature of the arguments that the scientists make don't resonate effectively with the, uh, with the situation. Uh, and this is part of the, of the difficulty that we were just talking about, how people need to talk. But I Once have more on institutional things to say. Yeah.